everyone! Welcome back to Kids Point. We're back for another week of all things slimy and sticky. Why? Because we're talking about getting unstuck. We can accomplish great things when we don't give up. I'm talking about determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you've started. Determination can be tricky because so often in life, we find ourselves in sticky situations. Last week, we learned a new song called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. It reminds me of David's words to God in Psalm 145 verse 2. Every day I will praise you. I will praise your name forever and ever. Make the choice today that your life will sing God's praise over and over again. Let's stand up and sing this together. We've got an amazing story for you today. Remember, last week we talked about Jesus' last few days on earth. Jesus had gathered his friends and he gave them a big mission to tell everyone about him all over the earth from Jerusalem to every single nation in the world. It was a big task, but Jesus promised that God was sending his Holy Spirit to help them. Then, as his friends watched, Jesus was taken by God up to heaven. You know what? Let's check out the so-and-so show to see what they're up to and hear today's Bible story. Mm. Mm.
Oh yeah. Hello everyone. My name's John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the... Uh... Hey buddy, you okay? So-and-so show! This is the so-and-so show. That's what it is. What is going on with you? I, I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. Why aren't, why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English and after a while they just pick it up. Oh, well that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really... Uh... Huh. It's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at three in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. I... <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry! He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, uh, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm Mariah. Oh. And I'm Cheryl, Mariah's assistant and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're sign, this is sign language right now that you're doing? Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been... Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry. How long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf, and I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, 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 wait, you've... You've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, uh, that must be hard. It's hard. But I'm not going to lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Mm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh, oh how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. Yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them, and they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. 
you got it. Okay. It's a little I for I. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, L got it. for L. Ah, y for you. Yeah. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep, that feels <laughs> good. It works. It works. It's true. Ooh, yeah, that's, like, that's <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is, is there? Uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice. How do you say bye? Uh, oh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. I can't believe it. I didn't you know You know that sign one. language. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm going to take a nap. Oh, man, we have to. Ah, no! Ah, oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's... Calling in from Moldova. Just, it, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name. I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? While he's doing that, shh, it's shush. Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are? Here, it is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> hey, y'all. Shh. Oh, um. Hey, y'all. No, this is ridiculous. Kellen can't be quiet the whole time. We're doing a show. I'm sorry, Maxim. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I... You'll be speaking English this time, won't you, Kellen? This time? Yes. Great! Maxim, this is your new teacher, Kellen. It's, it's, it's a really long word. Go ahead, Kellen. Okay, then. Today's story takes place on a day we call Pentecost. This was after Jesus had risen from the dead and after he had been taken up into heaven. And if you remember, before Jesus left, he gave his followers a mission to tell the whole world about him from one end of the earth to the other. Seems impossible, right? Well, wait till you see what happens in this reenactment by your favorite acting troupe, the So-and-So Show Players. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost in the city of Jerusalem, the followers of Jesus gathered together in one place. So what have you been up to since Jesus died, was resurrected and then arose to heaven? I've been telling everyone I know about our risen Savior. Yeah, nice. Me too. Me too. Do you think that we're going to be able to tell the entire world? Well, I've told about like 50 people so far. How many people are in the whole world? Millions. Oh. Suddenly, a sound from heaven came like a strong wind. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. I, what is... <gasps> what, what is that? They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. I don't know, but I'm sure we don't have the budget to animate it. They're right. So the flames separated and came to rest on the followers of Jesus in the house. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. That was incredible. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you speaking? A different language? Mamma mia! Moi? Oh, 
<laughs> it's true. I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italian. Oh, <laughs> and yet we understand each other. <laughs> Potpourri, au duv encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. <laughs> yeah. So, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before, not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway, in Jerusalem that day, People from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy. Again. The followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before, and to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> what an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Raper. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you'll be forgiven. And you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day, 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally, really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the so-and-so show players. Okay, wow, that, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah, anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can, and second, Having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want, but the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. Good on you, Kelly. Uh -huh. Hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay, bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh, John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! The question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh, what helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard, or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? I need a vacation. Okay. Today we're gonna go over simple objects. Simple objects. Paper. This is a piece of paper. 
This is a C-clamp device for mobile phones and other electronic devices. Can you say that? C-clamp device. Can you say outdated audiovisual tech? This is a heavy chair. These are rocket boosters for a shuttle program discontinued by NASA. You'll use that one a lot. You'll use that one a lot. It's right up there with where's the bathroom? That story was amazing. That day, about 3,000 people believed in Jesus and were baptized. Anytime someone here at Crosspoint puts their faith in Jesus, it's a really big deal. We want to celebrate with them because their life has been changed forever. Can you imagine what it must have been like for 3,000 people to put their faith in Jesus in one day? That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Talk about a celebration. God gives you what you need to keep going. Let's pray and thank God for this amazing gift. God, it's so amazing to see how you gave the gift of the Holy Spirit to the disciples, just like Jesus promised. When we believe, you give us the Holy Spirit too. We know that with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can be determined to follow you and finish what we've started. Please help us to trust you and remember that you'll always give us everything we need through your Spirit. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The Holy Spirit was an amazing gift to the believers. Because of the Spirit, it was possible for the believers to begin the great mission Jesus had given them. They were able to tell so many people about Jesus, and their work had just begun. God's Holy Spirit is available to us too. Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God. And because of Jesus, we can have the help of the Holy Spirit all the time. From the beginning, God always had a plan to send a helper. God knew we would need help to feel his love, to follow his ways, and to carry out his mission of sharing his love with the whole world. So he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. We never have to go alone because he is always with us. God gives you what you need to keep going. Whatever task God has given you to do, you should do your very best. You should always give it your all. But in the end, you can rest in knowing that you don't have to do it alone. If you believe in Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit to help you. You've probably seen the Holy Spirit at work and you didn't even know it. Maybe you've seen someone go through something really hard, like maybe they got really sick or they didn't have a job for a long time. Many times when you ask people how they made it through, they'll tell you they couldn't have done it without God's help. That's what the Holy Spirit can do. I'm so glad that you joined me today and I hope that you get to talk some more about today's story with your family at home. I'm going to leave you with one more great song. I hope you'll be dancing and singing along with me. Have a great week. I miss you guys, but I'll see you later. Everywhere that I go, you're there with me. Even